Unlike the original Mini Moog where you had to lose an oscillator if you wanted any form of modulation, the Mini Monster is more akin to a modular synth where you can assign an independent LFO or ADSR to almost any of the main parameters. However, unlike a modular synth where you end up with a load of spaghetti cluttering up your front panel, the Mini Monster does it in a way which is uncluttered. So let's say we want to apply an LFO to filter cutoff. Well, firstly, we simply click on the cutoff knob so that we can see the parameter named in the window here. Then we nip across to the LFO section. Now it's here that you can create independent LFOs for all the main Mini Monster parameters with the exception of oscillator range and waveform knobs and switches. Everything else, however, can have its own independent ADSR or LFO assigned, and this is where the Mini Monster becomes truly magnificent. So, starting with waveforms, we have triangle, sine, ramp up, ramp down, cosine up, cosine down, square wave, random, brown noise, and red noise. So sticking with the sine wave for a minute, if we want to apply this to the filter cutoff, as we've said before, we simply click on the filter cutoff control, make sure we see that name in the parameter name window, and apply a degree of amplitude. So here's our basic sound, and here's our modulated sound. Now we can do things like change the rate, and we can also add a degree of delay before the LFO kicks in. We can introduce sample and hold, and we can also smooth out the edges of the LFO waveform. We can also sync the start of the LFO at a particular point within the waveform. Now you can see we have an LFO or ADSR assigned to a parameter via the blue illumination around the parameter. And as I said before, we can set up completely independent LFOs for different parameters. So let's strip back our LFO here to something basic. Get rid of the smooth, get rid of the sample and hold, get rid of the delay, etc. And just check our modulated cutoff sound. Okay, that's cool. So now let's assign a separate LFO to resonance or emphasis. So to do this, we literally click on the knob. Again, check that its name appears in the window. Then we scoot across to the LFO section and select a new waveform. In this case, we're selecting cosine up. Now we add a degree of amplitude. Play a note and hear the difference. Again, you can see that the emphasis knob is illuminated blue, which indicates that an LFO or an ADSR has been applied. As with the MIDI control, the ability to apply an extra LFO or ADSR is really what sets the Mini Monster apart from any rival Mini Moog emulation.